The Home Health Quality Improvement National Campaign welcomes you to this short educational program called Pre-Diabetes and Signs and Symptoms of Diabetes. Did you know that there are over 86 million people with pre-diabetes? That means one out of every three adults in the United States has pre-diabetes. Also, nine out of 10 people do not know they have pre-diabetes. There are over 29 million people in the U.S. with diabetes. One out of four adults do not know they have diabetes. These numbers are important because diabetes is a disease that will affect every organ in your body. So what is prediabetes? Prediabetes is when your blood sugar or your glucose is high, but not high enough to be considered diabetes. Without weight loss and moderate physical activity, 15 to 30 percent of people with prediabetes will develop type 2 diabetes in five years. In order to diagnose prediabetes, lab tests are always needed. The most common test is a hemoglobin A1c. The A1c, as we will call it, is an actual three-month look back in history of your everyday blood glucoses. When your doctor requests blood work that includes an A1c, there are actually people sitting in the lab that count the number of sugar molecules on each of your red blood cells. To be diagnosed with prediabetes, the A1c will range from 5.7 to 6.4%. Another test your doctor might perform is a fasting blood glucose. That means you are not permitted to have anything to eat or drink for at least eight hours before the test, and your blood test is usually done in the morning. These results will range from 100 to 125 and may need to be repeated to accurately diagnose the prediabetes. According to the American Diabetes Association, there are no clear symptoms of prediabetes, so you may not know that you have it. Some people with prediabetes may already have some of the symptoms of diabetes or even have some of the complications. If you are diagnosed with prediabetes, you should be checked for diabetes every year by your health care provider. Now that we have discussed prediabetes, let's talk about diabetes. Diabetes is a chronic condition that affects the way the body processes blood glucose or sugar. It causes an abnormal rise in the blood glucose level. Your doctor will perform an A1C test, and if your level is greater than 6.5%, then that confirms a diagnosis of type 2 diabetes. A fasting blood glucose that is 126 or higher can prompt your doctor to order another fasting blood glucose before diagnosing diabetes. The organ in your body that produces insulin is called the pancreas. With type 2 diabetes, the pancreas does not produce enough insulin or it becomes resistant to insulin. Most of the food we eat is turned into glucose or sugar for our bodies to use in energy. Insulin is the key that unlocks the door to the cell so that the glucose can be changed to energy to power our body. Some of the symptoms that occur when people develop type 2 diabetes are as follows. Feeling very thirsty all the time. Hungry. Feeling tired. Having blurred vision. Slow healing of wounds. Urinating a lot. Or having headaches. Unfortunately, there are some risk factors that are common in people that may develop diabetes. The most common risk factors include adults over 55 years of age. However, many people over the age of 20 or older have been diagnosed with diabetes. Obesity, family history of diabetes, gestational diabetes, which is when a woman develops diabetes when pregnant. Women who have had gestational diabetes have a 30 to 60 percent chance of developing type 2 diabetes within 10 to 20 years. Race is also a risk factor. African American, Hispanic, Asian American, and Native American people are at higher risk for type 2 diabetes. Once a person has been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, there are many treatment options available. Diet, exercise, and medications are some of the ways to control blood glucose levels.
If you have been diagnosed with diabetes, there are some terms you need to become familiar with so you can identify symptoms if they occur. The first one we will discuss is called hyperglycemia. Hyperglycemia means that blood glucose or sugar levels are too high. Remember, an A1C over 6.5% or a blood glucose over 126 may be considered hyperglycemia. When glucose is too high, warning signs may appear. People with diabetes are encouraged to use blood glucose meters to monitor their glucose levels. Depending upon how high a person's blood glucose level is, he or she may need to go to the emergency department because of the risks of developing severe complications such as a coma. The symptoms of hyperglycemia are being very thirsty, feeling hungry constantly, feeling tired or sleepy, experiencing blurred vision, having dry skin, having a sore that is not healing, urinating often, or having nausea, or feeling sick to your stomach. So now that we've reviewed hyperglycemia, let's talk about hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia means that the blood glucose or sugar level is too low. Severe hypoglycemia can quickly lead to coma. When symptoms of hypoglycemia are severe, seek help immediately. Anything less than 70 for a blood glucose reading is considered too low. Some of the symptoms of hypoglycemia include feeling shaky, anxious, or nervous, sweating, dizziness, hungry, fast heartbeat, blurred vision, feeling tired, headache, or feeling irritability. If you experience these symptoms, there are quick remedies that will raise blood glucose quickly and prevent many symptoms. One of the most important tips, but often overlooked, is to make sure you have something on you to notify others that you have diabetes. An example of this would be a medic alert bracelet or necklace or a pocket card, which includes a list of all your medications. To prevent the most severe symptoms from occurring, always carry hard candy, not the sugar-free kind, and you can also drink a regular soda, not a diet soda, or use honey or sugar packets. There are products also available such as glucose tablets, glucose gels, and glucose injections if your healthcare providers feel that you are at risk for developing hypoglycemia. One of the most important things to remember if you do have an episode of hypoglycemia is to eat something with protein as soon as possible and always retract your blood sugar again. This will prevent another dip in your blood glucose and will also help determine if your blood glucose is too high from taking the sugar. In closing, it is very important to remember that if you are diagnosed with prediabetes or diabetes, you can prevent or delay complications. You can try losing weight if you need to, eat healthier foods, and adding moderate exercise to your weekly routine. You can also manage diabetes by working closely with your healthcare team. HHQI would like to thank you for taking time to learn more about prediabetes and signs and symptoms of diabetes. This material was prepared by Quality Insights, the Medicare Quality Innovation Network Quality Improvement Organization, supporting the Home Health Quality Improvement National Campaign under the contract with the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services as an agency of the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. The views presented do not necessarily reflect CMS policy. The publication number 11, Scope of Work, West Virginia, HHMMD 04251C.